Hey guys, Mick Reaps here and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. You join me and Bogey, Colin, Liliana, Josephine and Morrigan all standing around the table of doom and destruction. Uh, we're going to be just cracking on with more companion quests today. Surprise, surprise, but we are going to go to Valerie. We're going to watch somebody get hanged or executed. We don't know how they're going to get executed. Might die by... Public flogging. We're not sure. But we're going to go over there and see if we can find out what Black Wall is up to. Just going to finish these quests off because it's been 15 minutes since I recorded last time. We will provide Zervin with the resources he needs without telling the crows, of course. Lord Enzo is proving elusive. More eyes and heart. Arsenia cannot hurt. Oh, a word from Zervin. Okay. Where's that? Where's the word from Zervin? Nope, must be on the other side. All that glitters, gather material, blah 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 blah. Repair this? I guess we could. Seems like it's something we need to do. Emerald Graves and Priest de Leon. Nope, no. Nope. We've got 63 power points. We could we could stand to get this done. The Citadel de Corbu, where Celine's forces are stationed, was cut off from the rest of the Dales. Yeah, it's okay, fix it. Get it fixed. Hey, what's happening? I don't want to go there. Pontagur has been repaired and the citadel is once more accessible by road. Oddly enough, we have seen no sign of activity from the army. Something to fi and f investigate for Pepepe. Wow. Early morning reading much? Nope. I don't want to go there. We're going to Valor you. Did you not hear me? I kind of want to set them up to do jobs though. Let's see what we can do. Unmask those across the sea. Negotiate a deal for weapon plans? Sounds like something we should do. I recently became aware of a talented and inventive young blacksmith from the Andefels. Once we were introduced through the, my extensive connections, I negotiated a deal, the de -de -de deal to obtain his weapon plans for the Inquisition. Unfortunately, I have just now been outbid by a nobleman from Valdorum who maintains a private army. I would hate to lose those designs. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, just fucking bed higher. Idiot, I could attempt to find a compromise. Knowledge can be shared. After all, I'm sure the nobleman will be reasonable. That'll take a little bit longer. We could steal them, no doubt. Um Nah, let's not persuade someone. Let yeah, let's just Let's Inquisitor. deal with them am amicably. Right, let's go back from there. And... Aid those impacted in... Hmm... I'm not sure. Let's do the judgement thing in a box. Arrange vest... Visitation. Not with you, with the Duchess. I dare say that walking to find a box traitor on their bed tables will set each straight. Do it. No, no, she's got the great idea. Aid those impacted by the Civil War. Alliances. Hmm. We don't want to support Cass. We want to support Liliana. Oh, where's that place we wanted to go for Liliana? I want to go there, actually. There we go. The Valens Cloister. Let's go. Yep. Who are we going to take there? Can't take Blackwall because he's he's gone he's gone a wandering. We'll take Cole because he wants to be a real boy. We will take Iron Bull. Cause who needs defence, right? So we've got I need to remember take a rogue, take a mage. A warrior would be nice, but we got we got two of us, so we'll go with that. I 
this is a lovely place. It's just as I remember it. Wait, you've been here before? You didn't tell me you'd been here before. Yeah, sneaky. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I needed her wisdom after the hero of Ferelden died. What is it we're actually looking for here? So where's this hidden treasure? Straight to business. It's why I like you, Inquisitor. Liliana? Is that you? Sister Natalie? What are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... Like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? Yeah, why not? Lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. You will pay it now. That's fine. I'd rather not be recognized, to be honest. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know. Probably our eyeliner or something. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch. That light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. Do they still sing verses from the benedictions every Friday? I'm just going to follow this thing, okay? Yes. You girls can do whatever you need. So this is the branch, I'm guessing. Wait, what did we do? It's terrifying, but Solve the clue. Above all, that strength. Have you seen it by wait, above all? It's got to be up. Oh wait, it's just pictures? Okay. Oh wait, are these all an open heart? Well, the light has no fear of the darkness. But Justinia always said that compassion was my greatest strength. Doubt is easy. It takes is this it? Trust. Oh, this crazy section here? What's going on? The light has no fear of the darkness. That's too easy, isn't it? You just follow the bings. There's no solving going on. Get out of there, Geralt. Uh, Geral. Oh, I've done it again. Looks like we opened something. Yep, this little hidden bit here. Open up. Easy money. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh shit. Well played. Good old Liliana was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle weird burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Oh, she's going to get so pissy if we get her to join us. Who is Victory? Victory? Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. 
An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. So what were your plans, Natalie? I want to know what this grand cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thidas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Hey! Stop us? You must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. If she's well loved, then she would be the next Devine, right? They would have picked her. She's obviously not that loved. We we can't let her go. Um join us. She's not gonna join us. She's she's far too gone. She's way too far down that rabbit hole. We'll you still don't ask her. At odds, Natalie. You could come with us. Join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. Kill her. At least I still know what I believe. Ah, uh, uh, if we let her go. The cat's out the bag. Oh man, I don't I don't want you to I want to kill her. I want to shut her up. But then they're going to know anyway, right? They're going to know that we've done it. So just let her go. We don't have to kill her. No. We can try her. I must protect the Inquisition. She is an enemy. Lillian is going to do it. See what you've become. The witches stand before the darkness, and the maker shall guide them. Oh! She done what had to be done. I was just trying to be the nice guy. Props to you, Liliana. No! This can't be it. There's nothing here. It wasn't nothing. It, it was a way to get the snakes out the grass. It's not what you expected. That doesn't mean it's nothing. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... She's releasing me. Oh, shit. The divine has a long reach. But it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. Um, yeah, let's... Let's get on to what she said about the f in the fade. She apologized in the fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. It was necessary. Sacrifices are necessary. You know that. I know. You just proved it. Hearing Cut that girl's throat. Me the courage to do what must be done. Don't. Don't lay down. You're running for candidate, girl. Justinia tried to save me. But all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. Yes! I like Liliana. She's a badass. We'll just leave the body there. Grand Cleric can come in. See what's what with that. Can we at least keep the box? It's a very nice box. What did you have on you, scum lord? Ooh, a tongue of the serpent. A unique dagger 213. Not the greatest. We'll take it anyway. We'll sell it. Thanks for your junk. Have a lovely day. Bleeding out. Oh, it's over here. Nothing. Okay, so... We won't go back. We will go straight to... Oh man, I've got the hiccups. I apologise. Cancel. What we got here? Of somewhat fallen fortune. The ideal romance. Yeah, 
it's all going on in there. Travel. So who do we need to take on this one? Okay, first things first. Let us... Now we're not going to check on Liliana, thank you very much. We are going to check on Blackwall. Hey, what's going on here? Read that. In respect to Emperor Alphonse Valmont, the lines of Orlais, a repeating element dedicated to the great defenders otherwise noted. It is rumoured that one is gold, one is bronze and weighted with poison and one is chocolate. I'll take the chocolate one please. There's, lo there's so much stuff. Is this all codex entries? That we never got before? Grace of the Empire East. Welcome all before the Grace of the Empire. Stage and audience for the use of all. For theatre and business. For partnership and proposal. Hey. What? Yeah, these are all codex that we haven't got. Okay, we'll run around here and we'll collect them. Grace of the Empire North. This display reserved for the discourse political with attending professors of social matters from the University of Orleans. Shut up. Wait, these all... Yeah, these are all different too. Hey! Bull, you need to chill out. The hell? The second line of Orleans in respect to the Duke Isidore Darlesians. The West Tower, the display reserved for the presentations of, and affection of affections as though private and also discounted spirits. Okay. Cole, you might like that one. Duke Yvonne of Saverine. There is a lot going on over here. Blackwall, where are you at, bud? We're here. Cyril Mornay. For your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Lorette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? I don't think he done it. Very well. Blackwall doesn't think he done it. Who's this man to Blackwall? A brother? A friend? They're going to kill him. Good grasp of the obvious, this one. Proceed. Man, who is it? Who is that to Blackwall? Is that his dad? A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then fight oh. the man who gave the order. Blackwall gave the order. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Wait. Warden Blackwall is dead. And has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You... After all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. Holy shit. Rainier. Well. Drop the bomb. We're keeping Tom on his head. He's, he's still a badass. Oh man, that is crazy though. Hey, what did you do with Tom? Bailiff, what did you do with him? He's in the cell? Where is he? Can you believe it? Tom Rainier himself. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. We are going to have to read up about Tom Rainier because I think I kind of glossed over all of his stuff. What do you know of Rainier? Hmm? You must know something about Rainier. I know what everyone knows. He'll hang for the massacre of a noble and his family. Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. If you've good buys to say, say them now. Well... It's a damned mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. 
guess not. He's not going to swing on my watch, Bailiff. I can assure you of that. Okay, we are going to... Hey, not that. Not that one. We go to the journal. We go to... Codex? Man, oh man, I can't believe that. Where's the codex? Can I... Can I not do that? Aha, there we go. Characters. Where are you, Tom Rainier? You've got to be in here somewhere. Blackwall. Doesn't tell us anything about it. Priala. Cole. Are these in... Are they in... Alphabetical order? Tom, where are you, buddy? Sarah, Solis, the champion. Mother! He's not here, so we can't learn about him. Well, that sucks. We're never going to find it. We'll just have to check on Liliana, check on Liliana. Nope. We're fine, thanks. So if the flowers... Not really feeling it. Wait, do we need to buy flowers here? I forget. Are we buying the flowers? Or do we just find and pick the flowers? Oh, speak with the Countess. Optional dispatch Liliana's assassins. Hey, no, 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 no. That's the wrong thing again. Left hand of the divine. Nope. Search the stores of Valmaria for some candles. There you go. Talk to the gardener. So we'll do that as well. Where's the stores? Go see this guy. You did not miss here. Shut up. You got any candles for his? Pierre Marie. Well, I have met a master of the game and lived to tell you. Where's your candles at? Give me all your junk candles. The most romantic candles in Thetis. Yoink. Thanks very much. Have a lovely day. City guard, are you? I guess he's guarding the dungeons or the jail. There is no doubt. You and Captain Tom Rainey. He wore the shield. Never met him. Mm, that is concerning. Yes. He didn't. Concerning. He's a butcher. Wow, they they don't like him, do they? They don't like old Tom. No, I want to find out what happened. Um, wait, is it not you I'm speaking to? Oh, it's you that I'm speaking to. I'll spot. I'll. I'll spot to you in a second. Where's this gardener? By the maker, it's the inquisitor himself. Mhm. Mm Would you care for a bouquet of flowers? Yes, please. The roses have been exceptional this year. Sounds grand. Get flowers for cats. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For a lady friend. Oh, no, simple wildflowers for you. No, it's got to be the real deal. The thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. Thank you very much. And we'll read this tree. Victory and Shade. Here grows one of many strange trophies returned from the liberation of Kirkwall in 760 Storm. Where the brave Arlesian forces turn back the unstoppable Kuna. We're not reading that. Turn back out, people. That's okay. Inquisitor. Yep. What an unexpected pleasure. You must have had a long journey to the city. Might there be any news from this house? Yeah, there's, there's lots. Your love is safe. 
Here's a letter from Ellerly. He's safe with his family in the Dales. Oh, my Ellerly. Oh, bless you. The Dions will sponsor the Duparakets as a family deserving of a noble title, Inquisitor. You have my word. Now, please, forgive my hastiness, but I must read Ellerly's words. Make her keep you. No problem at all. Hey, don't take me back. That's fine. The summer home of Mazer Globes. A seasonal home for the childhood pet of the twin sons of Empress Yvette. The nature of the Mazer Globes remains unknown. Save that he was a gift from the Riviania ambassador. Hey, stop. Can I go in here, buddy? Do you mind? I'm just going to, going to go see a man about a dog. Okay, what's, what's crack lacking, chaps? You mind if I speak with my buddy? The the stone faced killer. The one that had a dirty secret the whole time. I can't believe I cannot believe that Blackwall wasn't Blackwall, he actually killed Blackwall. Or did he kill him? Just said he assumed He assumed the uh, the role of Blackwall, it doesn't mean that he killed him, right? And I don't care what he's done in the past. He's more than made up for it. Where you are you, Blackie? Or Tom? Uncle Tom? Don't sulk, buddy. I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. There you go. That'll do. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. Uh, you did, you did lie to me, and I don't like that. But it was fucking brave. Man, I'm so torn because I want to find out. I want to find out if he did kill the people. Or if he just made a bad call. Based on the information that he had. But I also want him to know that I think what he done was... Was brave, like... He's tried to carry on that guy. Black while he's tried to carry on... The way he is, right? Was the bailiff telling the truth? Did you really do those things? Yes, I did. Oh shit. It's all okay. true. It's time we all took a good look at who I really am. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage, and I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. Hey, don't back up, Boggy. You can you could smash his face. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. That's what you wear. Yeah, is he is he just faking it? Like, why would he fake that? I'm not convinced that he's. Would a is monster that me? have given himself up? Somewhere along the line, you stopped pretending. Blackwall. I'm still going to call you Blackwall because Tom just doesn't work. Doesn't work for his. Get your ass up. So who was the? No, who's Tom Rayner? That's what we want to find out. Okay, tell me about your mistake. Who is this Mornay guy? The man on the gallows, Mornay. One of his soldiers? My second in command. He was a good man. 
When I heard he'd been caught, I was resolved to stop his execution. Couldn't let another die for my mistake. Okay. Do you know anything about the real Blackwall, or have you just taken on a persona of what you think a Grey Warden is? I need to know about Blackwall. The real Blackwall. We met in a tavern when I was on the run. I was nothing. A waste of life. But he wanted to recruit me. We headed to Valshavan for the joining. But Blackwall insisted on making a stop along the way. An old ruin from one of the previous blights. He said it led to the deep roads. I was to go down alone, find a dark spawn, and fill a vial with its blood. When I returned, I found the warden ambushed by more of the creatures. He took a blow for me. He shouldn't have died. It should have been me. Eh, uh, he obviously... Nah, that wasn't his fault. Come on, why would we even say that? He sounds like a bit of a hero. But he, he clearly didn't think that you should have died. Not saying I disagree, but Blackwall clearly thought you were worth saving. No one should have died for me. He, he would have wanted me to carry on to Valshavan, I'm certain. But without Blackwall, there was no proof that I'd been recruited. That I didn't kill him. I couldn't go to the Wardens. But I couldn't just walk away. So, Rainier died. Blackwall lived. Tell me about, tell me more about your crime. I need to know the details of what you did. Who you killed. Why? I betrayed the Empire and assassinated a general, all for gold. The man was General Vincent Callier. My employer was a chevalier, Robert Chapuy. Sir Robert believed that Grand Duke Gaspard was the rightful ruler of Orlais and would eventually take the throne. He thought that by eliminating one of Selene's loyal supporters, he might endear himself to the true Emperor. I can't say if Robert's plan would have worked. I didn't care. There was good coin offered, and I took it. By the time Sir Robert's involvement was uncovered, I was long gone. Of course, the Grand Duke disavowed any knowledge of the act and publicly condemned it. Robert killed himself. Poison in his wine. Another victim of the great game. Okay. What did you tell your men? You got your men to help you. What did you tell them? They didn't know who they were attacking. I told them it was an important mission. They trusted me without question. Just as your men trust you. Well, armies need commanders. Our cause is just, but so was his. He was in it for the money. It was a just cause. Um, let's go with that one. Weapons. weapons don't wield themselves. Weapons don't have lives, families, dreams. An army is not just a weapon. Um. So wait, you murdered his whole family? Why didn't you just take the the main guy out? My reports say that Callier was with his family had them all slaughtered. I didn't know Kellier would be travelling with his family. I assumed only soldiers, armed guards. My men have been told to eliminate everyone. They'd seen war. They thought they were defending their country. No one likes to think about that. But it's names that carry power in this world. Bloodlines. Heirs. No matter how leaders like Selene or Gaspar pretend the game is played, that's how real war is waged. That's why he was so solemn when he was back back in there. He was he was looking and reading all about Tom Rainer. Um But you weren't even at war. But you weren't at war. Not really. I've been on enough battlefields to know the same crime at the right time would have earned a medal. But that's what I did, and why I deserve to be here. I'm not going to ditch you just yet, I want to know something else. There's another thing I'm still wondering. Yes. Oh, nothing. I'm not, wonder I'm not wondering anything, apparently. I'm wondering how long this episode's going to go. Let us see. 
Discuss the situation with Colin. Okay. So that's back at back at base. Meanwhile, back at Skyhold. Well, we're not going back there just yet. When it comes to romance, Cassandra prefers the ideals. We're getting there. Return to Skyhold. Skyhold. I kind of want to go do this one. The unfinished business and the before dawn. It's been in there for a while and I, I want to get it out the way and it's... Is it the exalted planes that we got to go to for that? Let us see. Come on, open up. Not Emerald Graves, that's where we've got to go. <clears throat> so we can go there. I also want to go get that last piece of poetry. So I'm going to head over, get that bit of poetry, and then I'll meet you guys in the Emerald Graves. How's that sound? And we'll find out what's going on from there. I have Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Oh, never mind. Colin, you snuck up on me. Summarize it for me. Give me the overview. Looks like our friend was once a respected captain in the Imperial Orlesian army. Oh yeah, we got that much. Before the Civil War, he was turned, persuaded to assassinate one of Selene's biggest supporters. He led a group of fiercely loyal men on this mission and told them nothing of it. His men took the fall for him. A few lucky ones, like Mornay, managed to escape. We should have this report all along. Let me guess. Our spymaster had this lying around somewhere, didn't she? It would have been difficult for anyone to connect Blackwall to Rainier. Even Liliana has something of a blind spot when it comes to wardens. <sighs> what do we do now? Blackwall... Renya has accepted his fate, but you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. Oh man, it's a hard decision. I think he's made up for it. Like afterwards? What would you do, Colin? If it were up to you, what would happen? What he did to the men under his command was unacceptable. He betrayed their trust, betrayed ours. I despise him for it. And yet he fought as a warden, joined the Inquisition, gave his blood for our cause. And the moment he shakes off his past, he turns around and owns up to it. Why? You're impressed, aren't you? Because, Colin, he might have been a horrible bastard before, but people change. He wanted to change. To prove that he'd really left his past behind, he had to face up to it. Saving Mornay the way he did took courage, I'll give him that. But I can't tell you what to do. Oh man. No, I'm making the dis- get him out of there, get him out. Have Rainier released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. New operations available. Okay. So I wasn't expecting that to happen up here. I thought we had to go to Skyhold. Optional. Order the advisors to find a way to release Rainer. Okay, yeah, we can do that. I can do that off camera. We will... Yeah, we're still going to stick to the original plan. I will see you guys in Emerald Graves. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. You too, Hardy. Got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of fade rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Okay, no worries. Tell me a little bit more about this guy. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. 
He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. I tend to agree with you on that one. Bit like Blackwall. Did you hear the news about Blackwall? Yeah, that's Tom Rainer. You know who Tom Rainer is? Everybody knows who he is. Arden, we need to have talks. So, tell me something else about the area. Something nice. You know anything else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? A little bit, but it also shows how shit they are at defense. There's a lot of trees around here. There's a forest. Uh, yes, truly. What was done to the elves here was unforgivable. Never again. At least I hope not. Thank oh, you we don't memory. get the we don't get the chance to romance her anymore. Uh, one other thing. Uh oh. A group of deserters from the Imperial armies has established itself here. Freemen of the Dales, they call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition and everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Okay, bandits check. So in this area, we actually need we need to bust out the cast. Look at that dog, that's cute. Claim that. So the Night Guardian, travelling through the Emerald Graves in the Dales, one will see dozens of carving stone wolves. The Dalish call these Night, the Night Guardians. And the, I've got such an itchy nose. Oh my goodness, okay. The Dalish call these the Night Guardians. In the days of the elven Halam Shural, wolf companions walked alongside Emerald Knights. Never leaving the side of their chosen knight. Wolf and elf would fight together, eat together, and the knight slept, the wolf would guard them. The statues were erected in memory of the unbreakable bond. That's kind of cool. I wonder if we get like a Mabari in this, in this one. I want a dog. I would like a dog. In the game. I have a dog in real life. Okay, report. Told you. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Go for it. What we got? Daily tomes, ancient ratings. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Where's our change party member stick? Is it a secret? Must be over that side. That's okay, I'll get it. Uh, there it is. There's our change party member stick. Who are we going to change out? It'll have to be... It'll have to be you, mister. Mr. Hornman. We'll have Dorian. Stick with Cole. And... Cass. Because we need Cass. She is here to kill one of, one of the guys she's after. And that will complete another mission. So let's see if we've got a, a rough idea of how big this map is. Hmm, pretty big. Pretty bloody big, yeah. But do we know where the quests are? Red Lyrium. Damn it, we need Varric. Pretty sure we don't need Varric though, because we've already done that quest. That's cool. For Dawn. Which one's that? Much like the Inquisition, Corypheus has invested great time and effort building trusted inner circle. Samson's a former Templar, the Lurium Addict. Okay, no, that's, that's not what we're after. Before the dawn. Wait, where? Unfinished business, that's the one that we need for Cass. And then we need a couple of these. Yeah, a couple of the before the dawns. Let me just check. The smugglers. So that's what we're going to do in this area in the next episode. We'll do we'll do the other stuff as well. We might as well while we're here. Um, I kind of just want to go see what level things are. We can do that. I'm going to push the episode to almost the hour mark, but we're we're very close to that anyway. So no harm, no foul. I don't mind doing the longer episodes, as long as you guys don't mind watching them. 
just let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you need these broken down to half hour episodes, I can do that. Level 15, all of you. This is going to be fun. Let's get your head smashed. You think I... Whoa, whoa, get out, get out of the fire. You think I care about you? Nice. You think you're a tough guy? You tough guy? Get shouted on. Oh, okay. Two can play that game, mister. <clears throat> this is going to be fun in here. Not too tough. But more challenging than hinterlings, obviously. We'll take all of that stuff. We're getting out of daily tomes. And what? What other bits are we getting here that we need? We're going to look at all of this. Do a quick save job. And then we're going to call it an episode. So I thank you guys very much for watching. This place looks so cool actually. A lot of knights died for these trees. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Come back next time. To see us kick some ass over in the Emerald Graves. And then we're going to go back. And all of that stuff in. We're going to find out what the fuck is going on with Tom Rayner.